Okay, so now let's take a look at numbers in scientific notation. A lot of times in the world of chemistry, when you come across numbers, they are usually either very, very large or they are very, very small. And because the numbers are either very, very large or very, very small, more often than not, the way the numbers are written is that they're written in scientific notation. So when you have a number in scientific notation, there's a couple of different parts. Of course, there has to be the unit because we're talking in most instances about a measurement. And remember, a number without a unit is meaningless. The other two parts for a number in scientific notation is what is known as the coefficient. And there's what is known as the power of 10. Now, when we talk about a coefficient, that's usually a value between one and 10. It doesn't have to be, but more often than not, when you take a look at numbers in scientific notation and you take a look at the coefficient, it's usually a value between one and 10. So to write the number 2,400 meters in scientific notation, the coefficient is actually 2.4, the power of 10 is three or plus three, and the unit is the meter. All right, so let's take a look at how we come up with um, these different parts. All right, so a couple of different ways of looking at it. One of the things that they do here is that they put in the decimal point. If you have a whole number and there's no decimal point given, we'll talk about that there's a significance to that. But in terms of scientific notation, if whether there's a decimal there or not, when you're given a whole number, a lot of times we put the decimal in. And then the question becomes, okay, how many places do we have to move the decimal point in order to get that number to or to get that number into a value, a coefficient that would be between one and 10. And what they're saying here, which is absolutely correct, is that if we have 2,400, where we have the decimal point at the end, and we wanna move the decimal point to transform that number into a value between one and 10, we would have to move the decimal points three places to the left. Because if we go one, two, three, that takes us to a coefficient or value of 2.4. So that's why the coefficient here is 2.4. Now, the way they explain it here is, all right, so if the coefficient is 2.4, what would I have to multiply that by to get to 2,400? And what you would have to multiply that by is 1,000. And 1,000 is equal to 10 to the third power. So the power of 10 would be three in this case. So you would have 2.4 times 10 to the third, and then of course the meter. The other way that I sometimes like to look at it is, okay, so we move the decimal point three places to the left. And that means that the power of 10 has to be, has to be three. But then the question is, is it a plus three or a minus three? Because as you see below, the power of 10 could be positive or negative. Here's how sometimes I look at it. I say to myself, what's bigger? The actual number that's given or the coefficient? If the actual number is larger than the coefficient, the power of 10 is positive. So here, because 2,400 is greater than 2.4, that would tell me the power of 10 is plus three. So I would still come up with 2.4 times 10 to the third. And when there's no plus or minus next to the power of 10, that means it's positive. So 2.4 times 10 to the plus third. All right, let's take a look at the second example here. 
In the second example, you have 0 0.00086 grams. Now again, to get this to get this number to a value between one and 10, in this case, we had to move the decimal point four places to the right. So one, two, three, and four. And that gives us a coefficient of 8.6. Now what they're saying here is, all right, how would I trans or transform 8.6 back into 0 0.00086? I would have to divide that by 10,000. And if we're dividing by 10,000, that's the same as multiplying by 10 to the minus fourth power. But again, here's how I would come up with it. All right, we move the decimal point four places, but here the actual number is smaller than the coefficient. So the power of 10 is negative. Because the actual number is smaller than the coefficient, the power of 10 is negative. And therefore, in this case, the power of 10, sorry, sometimes, depending on where I'm writing, doesn't come out so well. The power of 10 here would be minus four. 8.6 times 10 to the minus four grams. All right, so here's just another example um, of that for you.